You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we will be doing something a little different. Yeah. We're going to be doing a uh, off-the-cuff discussion on a topic in the today's WWE. Yes, the uh, Women's Royal Rumble. Yes. Which was announced this past Monday by Stephanie McMahon. Um, yeah, big news. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a first, obviously. Um, so you said that you heard that they're going to go for 30? That's what I heard. Yeah, because uh, when they first announced it, I was like counting the uh, women superstars oh, okay, yeah. on, on Raw. And there was only 10 eligible on Raw mm-hmm. and even less on SmackDown. Right. So I'm like, are they going to go for 20, maybe? 20 was what I had expected. Yeah. The rumor was 30, but again... They could always change their minds. Take it with a grain of salt. Um, so if it's going to be 30, that would suggest that... I'm assuming we're going to see some a bunch of NXT call-ups and, like you said, possibly some uh, Some legends. legends. Maybe some people that didn't get signed from the Mae Young Classic. I don't see that happening. I don't. I don't really think that they would bring in unsigned people for I, one match. I guess that's true. Because kind of the whole reason for the yes, yeah, so it would look kind of dumb if they were just kind of a filler. Yeah, yeah. Because this isn't like a, a one off on Raw. Right. This is like a big pay per view match. So yeah, that is true. Um, I would think that they want to just showcase their future mm. instead of having just like people that aren't going to be around. Yeah. No, no, that makes sense. So, um, so I guess what we'll start with is, um, I guess the context. Yeah. With this being obviously for a shot at WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. So like, the same rules will apply as the men's mm-hmm. Royal Rumble. Um, it's 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 cool because we both are big fans of the Royal Rumble. So oh, having two matches. It's in my one favorite night, match of the year. Yeah. So having two of those in one night is pretty cool. Yes. Um, and the women's. It's no longer the the bathroom break of wrestling, to be mm-hmm. honest. I mean, that was what it was. I mean, never for me personally, mm-hmm. but, I mean, it was known that way years back in the Attitude Era and such. And but still to some people. Well, that's true. You're never going to but... fully, you know, yeah. get past that. But they've, they've done so much and come so far. The talent level has... Yeah. Uh, increased dramatically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it's less of uh, it's less a surprise when you have good yeah. women wrestlers, and now it's expected. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and now you know, with two champions, you have two less women. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, and that that kind of leads us to like who's going to be in it, right? Well, I would assume that we will obviously have some NXT call-ups. Yeah. Um but we'll, we'll start with uh obviously pretty much everyone on Raw and SmackDown. Yeah, yeah. I Besides imagine, the two yeah, champions. Um so you'll see so Bliss and Charlotte will not be yeah. a part of it. Well, assuming that they're both still champions. Yes. I have a strange feeling that um Carmella will cash in and become champion and be champion at the match. Yeah. I I think that that might happen. And then therefore Charlotte, Charlotte will, be will be in the Rumble. Rumble. Yeah. Uh, cause yeah, because this is this is huge. I mean, I I just hope that we don't get. I, I'm sure they won't. But what happened at Money in the Bank? That can't happen. I, I you know. Don't have... no, 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 I know. But a screwy finish uh... where it's kind of like, really, you guys had all the momentum with something groundbreaking, and this is what you chose to do. Yeah. Um. So like, I don't really think there's any possibility of them doing something. No. To that extent. But with this, you bring in a new face. With a lot of hype around this person. Talking Ronda Rousey. Oh, oh, oh. Well, yeah, that's someone who could show up. Right. That yeah. would... Oh, hmm. You know? That would mean she wins. Yeah. Faces and, Charlotte at WrestleMania yeah. or something like that. Because yeah. that's where they wanted to go, the whole four, yeah. horsewoman versus horsewoman. Because period. my thought was have have Charlotte be in the match but not win it. And this way, that frees her up mm. for being um, against uh, the f- the. They can do the four horse one right. match at WrestleMania. Yeah, with well, all eight that, of them. That would make of, sense because that that would be the best way to do it. Because this will give you three mm-hmm. p- potentially good women's matches on the yeah. WrestleMania card. Yeah, absolutely. Um, which is something that's never happened. I right. Think. 
Um, no, and they're, you're, you're, they don't have that problem where they wouldn't be able to fill the other matches. It's true. So, um, but yeah, we're we're expecting possibly Ronda because we know she's been training. Yep. Um, I think that there's a chance that Shayna Baszler will end up in the match. Absolutely, she's rumored to debut in NXT soon. Well, not rumored. She yeah. They had the it, coming soon with yeah. her um, spade logo, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I would imagine. Uh, probably maybe Nikki Cross showing up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or maybe a returning Brie Bella. I, don't, I think it's too soon for that. Well, you got to think she's been training. Actually, in, no, no, you think about it. This would be a good time for that. This was SummerSlam-ish. Uh-huh. In, I think that's where they're around in Total Divas, uh-huh. and she was training, so. No, okay. Yeah, that, that doesn't make sense. It's a good place to return. Yeah. But like you had mentioned in our Raw review, the possibility of Trish Stratus and Lita yes. returning. I, I know Trish had posted on Twitter that she was obviously interested mm-hmm. being in it. Yeah, because I feel like this is, if they're going to have legends, it would be those two. Yeah. I was going to say, was Lita still able to wrestle? Because I thought she had some sort of neck problem. But well, I think she had showed up at an independent show and wrestled. I have no idea. Somewhat recently. I don't know how far back I know it that was. the last time she was in the ring at on a WWE program was in a match to on raw yeah where she fought like with uh, mm-hmm. it was everybody beating up Heath later yeah. but i mean there's i'm sure there's plenty of women that have wrestled in the wwe that are still on the independent circuit. oh yeah 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 i'm sure i think victoria is still out there I th- so she doesn't work for uh impact anymore no okay i know that she was for a yeah. while I you have know. now that would be too soon probably who uh chelsea green she's looking to get out of her contract with impact who's chelsea she, green she is zach Ryder's girlfriend laurel van ness on the independence was she in wwe no but she's oh, rumored okay. to be well, in wwe well, not because it, you made it seem like it was someone who was coming back oh no no no, no. i was just kind of okay, thinking like, as we were what? going along no 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 but uh i'm trying to think out who else would be around um because there's been a bunch of people that they've rumored coming back oh yeah they do it all the yeah. time it's like oh this would be cool so obviously it has to be right possible um no it'd be cool hmm. it's never gonna happen i want hle back so bad yeah that's want, so bad that's she was she was the best if if she would obviously all the punk stuff mm. notwithstanding if she was around for this yeah. it would make it a million times better yeah. just everything that's going going on mm-hmm. because she could have been a legitimate threat for oh, everybody, for, for Charlotte, for mm-hmm. Sasha, it, and it would have just made everything yep. so much better. Somebody was joking on Twitter saying that the 30th entrant was going to be Eva Marie. <laughs> be one hell of a way to yeah, uh, right? piss off fans. Oh, yeah. Um, well, and then everybody had Roman in a wig and stuff like that. So I, I saw that picture, <laughs> yeah, now I think about it. Oh, man, um, the internet is a hilarious and cruel place. But, yeah, there's a lot of possibilities. Technically speaking, there's no reason why Ember Moon couldn't be in it, too. No, yeah. Because, well, yeah. Because she's, she's not one of the main champions. So. Uh, that would have been the perfect way to have Asuka come Debut? in. Debut? Yeah. Absolutely. Have her still the NXT champion and then win the Rumble. And, yeah. yeah. And this way that she vacates cool. NXT. And mm-hmm. then, but, you know. Um, and... That brings up another point is with Asuka and her, well, streak or everything like that. She had lost a battle royal on NXT. But I don't, I think they're very clear about the. No, I know, but with people thinking that, oh, she's going to win because she's got this momentum and things like that. No, she was eliminated by Eva Marie. (laughs) Yeah, I was going to say that really doesn't count. The multi person matches. I I know, but. Um, Just put it out there. Yeah. So, but yeah, there's, there's potential yeah um now let's let's move on to like potential winners i guess would be a, a good because there's not there's not that many no um i think but this would definitely be huge for somebody that hasn't had the best main roster run yes but i feel like at the same time there's they're going to be tempted to put it on or have someone established win it which is probably not the smartest thing in the world. Yeah. Um, and, you know... I mean, this said, would be right up Charlotte's alley. <laughs> exactly. Because I remember you had picked her to be Money in the Bank winner, which made sense because... Yeah. So, 
Charlotte. I, I honestly had forgotten about that. So since they strayed away from that, because you always kind of feel like they're just going to put big things on her. Yeah. So hopefully that it would be better if she's the champion during this. But I feel like she wouldn't be because I don't know how they work with money in the bank. It's like because, you know, why would you have the money in the bank winner in the Royal Rumble? Yeah, they've done a lot of weird things. I know. Because it's, Cause not, you it's usually... not very often that the Money in the Bank winner is in the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Because they either don't have the mm-hmm. briefcase anymore or they're in some other kind of feud. Yeah. Because when, and this made no sense, but it happened anyway. In 2015, Seth Rollins was in the title Tri- match. Triple threat, right? Yeah. And so he had the Money in the Bank, but he was already in the, the title match, which made no sense. No. But it was still... yeah. Well, I guess there goes, there goes that theory out the window. Well, no, it's just the fact that he wasn't in the Rumble. Right. And most other ones don't make it to the Rumble. That's true. So. Um, but, yeah, we, we still don't have a cash in, so. Yeah. So, as of, sorry. <laughs> as of right now, uh, we are to assume that Charlotte and Alexa will still be champion. Yeah. I really don't see Alexa losing her title. No, probably not. So. Um, but, yeah, Becky would makes mm-hmm. sense i i would like the idea of maybe them making it so you can cash in on either side right and maybe put becky on raw and mm-hmm. have someone else go to smackdown yeah because becky kind of needs to change pace and i a little I, bit i feel like if she swapped with someone she has gotten the short end of the stick all of 2017 yeah so um but you know uh Ronda the Rousey. Rem- yeah, right. Those rumors. That would make sense because if you want to highlight WrestleMania, it, that'd be, that's how you do that'd it. That'd be the, the way to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, and with the whole four horsewomen thing. I just, I don't know how I feel like them strapping such a thing on an outsider. Oh, I, I, I agree. Because I would much rather see someone on Raw win it and face Alexa right. instead of having... But what you would rather see and... The goals for the company. I know, I know. Two totally different things. It's true, um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, anything's possible. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, I, 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 it's it's definitely gonna be a big name. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So and you know, hopefully it'll elevate someone. Right. No, it'd be crazy. Hmm. It had like Tamina Alano in it. Please don't say that. It'd be crazy. There's always the realm of possibility that that could happen. It's true. Well, imagine, imagine, let's say Lana wins it and she ends up being like crazy good eventually. I don't see it happening, but you know. I don't know. I think that uh, ship has sailed. Yeah, she's not great. She's 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 good on the mic. She's not a good wrestler. I mean, she hasn't been given her complete fair shot, but it, it's true from but, the limited exposure yeah. we've gotten. Again, that's a tough. That and she, it's test, not like she doesn't know? do house shows and stuff. So. Yeah, but oh well. Yeah. Uh, anything else we should cover? Or? Not really. I mean, we still have over a right a month about a month. Oh uh, yeah, twenty eighth. Yes, is that what it is? Yeah. So so we still, there's plenty of time to build story. Titles so. change. Everything can happen. Yeah. So this was our a little bit of a speculation video. Yeah. Trying to uh, figure out what's going on. Yep. And so. if you uh, like what you've seen here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.